Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching part 5 of the sub series C Sharp Serialization and Deserialization. In the previous fourth part, we created a uh, class library project to store product class and then we consumed that class library project in our uh, serializable example. Then we created a array list of uh, product then we serialized that to a flat file. In this video we will discuss about the deserialize example. So this is the deserialize example and we will discuss about this here. So in the first video we learned about the serialization and the deserialization basics. Then we moved on to creating the product class inside a class library project. After that we talked about the form design. Then we serialized the product class. So in this example we are going to create one more exe project. Let's say this is the second exe project. The first exe project already returned the serialized content. Here what we will do, we will specify the location of the serialized file. So f temp some name dot some extension sdd I guess. So this file is containing the serialized information. So you will give that location. After that we will click on the process button. So once you click process button what happens here we will read the content and we will display all three product information on this. So this requires reconstructing the array list. Why? Because previously uh, the let's for simplicity we will name it as 1.exe. So it collected the product and created an array list. So each one is a product think we created a three product then we serialized that into a flat file serialized data sdt app one dot exe we done this now there's one more exe two dot exe that's what you are seeing here this two dot exe what it will do it will read this file content construct back each and every product that means it will first construct the array list and then it reads the further information creates all the product and places that in the array list then once we have array list in hand we will iterate through this content and we will display that here so we already saw the serialization process this is serializing and this one is deserializing and if you see these two are independent application only stuff what it know is the DLL project which exposes the student class both will refer the same uh, class library project so that they know how the student class looks or it knows this clean term uh, sorry it's not student I'm repeatedly saying that it's a product class so it knows the skeleton of the product class and that way um, exe1 will do the serializing it does the serializing of a product and exe2 does the deserialization of a product since both knows how product looks or what are the product class members. Alright, now let's go to the demo of this uh, second project. So an empty project is available, you can directly open it or if you wish to create the form yourself then you can continue this video and see all the um, control names. Now it's demo time. So here is the 
example and we named this form as a forum process then uh, there is a label you can name it as you like and we named this as a txt file name this is to receive the uh, path to our uh, serialized data file and button is named as a cmd process once you click this here we will uh, read this uh, multi-line text box set text box then uh, multi-line property is uh, set to true so that you can resize the text box to command multiply multiple line for example when it is false it will be like this you cannot resize once you turn it as true then uh, you can resize it uh, height wise to, to store multiple lines all right that's all about the form design just now you saw the demo thank you for watching bye